Hello, hello, this is Daniel from Trusted Tutorials and today we're gonna have a look at how to use the not equal Google Sheets symbol. Actually, there's many different ways how you can use the not equal Google Sheets symbol and I'm going to show you all of them. But let's get started with a simple example. So I have a column here for names, states and also gender. And I want to see uh, different conditions and whether they are true or not true or uh, in our example not equal. So let's get started with a simple example. So not Ohio. I want to see uh, whether the condition is not Ohio is true or not. For this I'm selecting the cell. So I'm choosing B2 here and then uh, we're gonna enter not equal sorry like this and the condition here should be Ohio so I just type in Ohio and it's gonna show me um, true when it's uh, not Ohio so this one should return true let's have a look and it works it shows true so I just copy uh, this for all the other cells and it will give me true and false. So wherever, uh, whenever we have false here, um, it will be Ohio. Yes, and that works quite perfectly. Nice. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make it ma more visually appealing. What you can also do is you could just overlay a checkbox here and um, it will be even quicker for you to see whether this uh, condition is not true or if it's uh, true actually. So let's just um, select format, no insert checkbox, sorry that's what I was looking for. You can go on to insert and then you go on to the menu item checkbox. You click on checkbox right here and then it should convert everything into checkboxes. Yes, look at this. Now uh, whenever it's true uh, you have the uh, checkbox marked and whenever it's uh, false, I mean the not true is true and the not false is false or whatever, uh, it will show you here the checkbox marked. So the first one here, not if it's not equal uh, Ohio, it's Oregon, it's true. So it will um, add the check mark. So every time there is no check mark, we will have Ohio almost confused myself uh, right there. So that looks quite nice. And um, well, I mentioned there's also other ways uh, to do it. So I'm gonna show you these as well. Now we also have the uh, column not mail. I wanna show you uh, how you can add the formatting uh, using the conditional formatting in the first place. So I go on to format and then uh, I select conditional formatting here from the menu. So we already have one here, I uh, don't no need that and I'm just gonna add another rule. So there is already the uh, formatting option not equal. I'm just gonna select that. So I wanna apply this to the range gender so I'm just gonna go on select data range and I'm going to select the range here for gender this is where the formula is gonna have a look at so now we have the correct uh, range and I want to see whether the gender is uh, not equal to a male so let me just have a look for is not equal to. Perfect, and then the value or the formula we're gonna look at is M. So whenever it is not M, it will be uh, marked by green. So uh, we get all the females. That works quite nice uh, right here. But yeah, there's even another way um, and that's what I'm going to show you now. What I plan to show you is uh, I want to show you uh, a way that you can manually enter that. So you don't have to uh, rely on is not equal to because there's also a possibility to 
manually enter that and this is what I'm going to add into the column E. So let me just go one more time into format and then conditional formatting and we're gonna select this time we're gonna select custom formula is and uh, here you can just enter the same as you entered before so it's gonna work uh, in the same way so here um, I can just enter my custom formula so I'm gonna choose C2 and not equal and I go on I add in M so whenever it's not equal M it should be highlighted in green so and we need to apply this uh, to the um, gender data so again we just gonna select the gender range and go on to ok So I'm just gonna copy it right here and now it's applied to um, the whole column. It's gonna show me whenever it's not M, it's gonna render or return true. And, and true is then uh, green. So we have this one as well. But let's uh, take the example one step further now we uh, want to not just have a result that says true or false we want something to uh, we want it um, the formula to print something whether when it's uh, ohio or not ohio and for this purpose we can use a if statement and we're going to use the uh, not equal again so i'm just going to manually enter here and start with if and then I just use the brackets. So in the brackets now uh, comes the uh, logical expression. So uh, we go on, have a look at B2. And then the logical expression is, is not equal. So if B2 is not equal Ohio, we want uh, to output not Ohio and if it's false we want to output Ohio all right just gonna beautify this a little bit and now let's enter and see whether it's working out oh, and as you can see sometimes it uh, suggests also an autofill uh, because of course I want to copy it to the other cells as well I can just accept it right here and it uh, autofills it automatically so whenever uh, it is not Ohio it outputs not Ohio and whenever it is uh, it outputs Ohio so that's uh, just another way or just taking the not equal symbol even a step uh, further. I'm, I'm going sh to show you the last uh, way uh, how you can enter not equal. There's also a uh, formula equivalent and this is NE. So I can also enter the formula like this if I type in NE in capital and then uh, the condition it will exactly uh, return the same uh, result. So NE asks for value 1 and then value 2. So I select B2 again and then the condition um, value 2, what should it have a look at? Uh, it's Ohio again. So if it's not equal Ohio, it's true and otherwise it's false. Let's have a look. Perfect, and it also su auto suggests um, here the autofill, and I'm just gonna accept that. And as you can see, whenever it is false, uh, it will be Ohio. So this is the equivalent for the angle brackets. You can also write NE. Yes. This is how to use the uh, not equal Google Sheets uh, symbol. If you like this tutorial, please uh, give it an actual like, hit the notification bell and follow our channel. This was Daniel from Trusted Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.